Okay, here we have a projectile motion problem. <clears throat> this says a projectile is fired from a cliff 200 feet above the water at an inclination of 45 degrees to the horizontal with a muzzle velocity of 50 feet per second. The height h of the projectile above the water is modeled by this function. So here's our function that we're working with where x is the horizontal distance of the projectile from the face of the cliff. So if we kind of get an idea of what's going on here, we have a cliff here, and then there's water underneath it. This projectile is being fired off the top of this cliff at a 45 degree angle. Well, because of gravity, it's only going to go up so high, and then it's going to come back down again. So and th they've told us that this cliff is 200 feet up. So when we're talking about the x and the y axis here, the x axis refers to the distance out from the base of the cliff, and the y axis refers to the height of the projectile here. So when it says, at what horizontal distance from the face of the cliff is the height of the projectile a maximum? Well, somewhere over here we have uh, where this projectile is going to reach its maximum height and then turn around and come back down we are still finding the maximum of a function. And because this is quadratic, we can use our negative b over 2a in order to find that. So if x equals negative b over 2a, then that would be negative. Our b value here is a 1 over 2 times the a value. Well, our a value is the entire coefficient in front of the x squared term. So in this case it would be negative 32 over 50 squared. Now we can write this as negative 32 over 2500. We'll go ahead and square out that 50. That'll make things a little bit better for us. <clears throat> now, simplifying each one, top and bottom, we'd have negative 1 over 2 times negative 32 over 2500 would be negative 32 over uh, 1250 because half of 2500 would be 1250 and then when we simplify this we would get 39.06 feet so 39.06 feet out from the cliff our projectile is going to have a maximum height now the next part of this says find the maximum height of the projectile. Well our height function is, is here so we can just go ahead and evaluate that height function for an x value of 39.06 feet. So that would be negative 32 over 2500 times instead of x 39.06 squared plus 39.06 plus 200. So now when we plug this into our calculator, being very careful to put those numbers in correctly, we should end up with a maximum height of 219.53 feet.